Hello everybody, video here for you today. Beyond Oak Island is a show in which the History Channel and Rick and Mike Lagina get involved with other treasure mysteries. If you missed any of my recaps, The Curse of Oak Island or Beyond Oak Island, there's a link to the playlist in the upper right. Let's get into it. This is the No Cap Recap of Season 3, Episode 11, called Return to the Widda. The episode opens in the Oak Island War Room, where Rick and Marty Lagina, as well as Maddie Blake and diver Tony Sampson, discuss an invitation they have received to rejoin the recovery efforts on the Witta Galley, the only documented pirate treasure being brought up in the world currently, at least uh, as of this episode's airing in January 2023. The show's debut of this particular treasure hunt was just three episodes ago in Season 3, Episode 8, called Captain Bellamy's Bounty, filmed in June of 2022. Link to the no-cap recap of that episode is in the upper right. Captain Sam Bellamy was a pirate for only two years, but during that time he captured 54 ships, including the Witta Galley, which was the biggest slave ship of the day. Sam freed the slaves and offered them a chance to stay on board as all equal voting slash profit sharing crew, which all took. On April 26, 717, the Witta got caught in a devastating Norista and sank with five tons of gold, silver, and jewels, as reported by the only two survivors. Barry Clifford and his partner, John F. Kennedy Jr., found a huge bell from the ship in 1985 and have been looking for and salvaging parts of the wreck and treasure since then. They have two museums of items so far. Rick and Marty are too busy on Oak Island to go with them, but Maddie and Tony will travel south to Massachusetts to join the Cliffords. This episode would have likely been shot between July and September of 2022 based on the shorts everyone in Cape Cod were wearing. The plan is to search an area where the Cliffords previously found a huge amount of cannons as covered in that previous episode, link in the upper right. Uh, one of the two survivors said the riches would be with the guns. The Cliffords use their ship's engine wash to clear away sand and silt from the ocean floor, which they call dusting. It allows them to see any previously buried pieces of the wreck or artifacts. In addition to looking with their eyes, the divers also use handheld metal detectors. The majority of artifacts they are finding are beneath the shifting sandbar, beneath the cobblestone glacial till, and resting on fine white sand that is on top of a layer of clay as shown here. The divers find that the dusting has revealed the top layer of cobblestone, but they need to be deeper, so they have to dust the same spot again. They did find this concretion, which is what happens when metal objects corrode and fuse with other objects over long periods of time in the ocean. The winds pick up and have moved the ship 30 feet away, and the captain cannot get back and stay in the correct spot to breed dust. They call the dive for the day. The next morning is much better weather, and the captain dusts the spot for hours before the divers even arrive. A diver checks to find that Still more dusting is required to get to the artifact layer based on the depth the cannons were found at. After the next period of dusting, the divers find this decorative piece of a pistol. Each find is meticulously documented, including GPS coordinates where found. They also find this 8 real coin from Mexico. It is not degraded, which means it has been undisturbed since being buried when the Widda sank, making it likely that there are other things to be found in that spot. As usual, they wrap up the episode in the Oak Island War Room. The Cliffords join via video conferencing, and they say they believe that the decorative pistol piece is a Jacobite rose, a symbol of Scottish independence and likely on the pistol of a loyalist to the exiled King James II, who launched a failed overthrow attempt on the House of Hanover. They propose that it could have belonged to someone that became a pirate to escape persecution in England or Scotland. 
The Cliffords also say they have brought up only a small fraction of the coins and other treasure that was supposed to be on board the Witta, so they have a lot more to do. The last episode aired so far of Beyond Oak Island is a highlight show, so I won't recap that one. Season 4 of Beyond Oak Island has not been announced by the History Channel. Since I started recapping The Curse of Oak Island for Season 9, I will go back and recap Seasons 1 through 8, probably multiple seasons in one video. The Oak Island playlist, again, is in the upper right. I am Coach Steve Money, and I am a Ramsey Solutions Certified Financial Coach. And if you've got money problems or you just want to make sure you're on the right track, you can schedule a free, yes, free financial coaching consultation slash assessment with me at calendly.com slash Coach Steve Money. You can email me about coaching or anything else on my YouTube channel like Oak Island. Coach Steve Money at gmail.com. Channel donations can go to paypal.me slash Coach Steve Money. You can add me on the gram at Coach Steve Money. And of course, this YouTube channel is youtube.com slash Coach Steve Money. Thank you so much for watching.